their coming. They are a race of sadistic spirits known as the Kerberide, and they are about to arrive in our world, bringing with them horrors beyond imagination. The secret to summoning and controlling them has fallen into the hands of a beautiful, sexy, and dangerously insane woman. Ariana has dedicated her life to unleashing the demons in our realm through a series of human sacrifices, erotic rituals of seduction and slaughter. As she crosses the country, getting ever closer to completing her blood-dredged mission, only three figures stand in her way. An unwilling hero who has seen the horrors of the Kerberide before, a burgeoning witch, and a spiteful demon with plans of his own. From John Everson, the Bram Stoker award-winning author of Covenant, comes this year's most dark, brutal, bloody, and terribly frightening book, Sacrifice. A novel Shroud magazine hailed as a guilty pleasure, a horror novel with hidden depths. Horror World said, This is a novel that begs to be finished in one night, and likely will be. Sacrifice, a hardcore horror that passes its predecessor by bounds. The squeamish need not apply. Horror Fiction Review. For more information, go to johneverson.com. The following podcast contains frequent strong language and numerous scenes of a violent nature. It is therefore not recommended for a younger audience or for those listeners of a nervous disposition. Discretion is advised. In the year 1988, the crime rate in the United States rises 400%. The once great city of New York becomes the one maximum security prison for the entire country. A 50-foot containment wall is erected along the New Jersey shoreline, across the Harlem River, and down along the Brooklyn shoreline. It completely surrounds Manhattan Island. All bridges and waterways are mined. The United States police force, like an army, is encamped around the island. The prison's name, New York Maximum Security Penitentiary, Manhattan Island. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the worlds they have made. This is the Broken Sea Audio production of Escape from New York, adapted for audio by Bill Holweg, from the movie written by John Carpenter and Nick Castle. Shit. Harold Hellman. What? Who? Snake? Hell. Where you been, Harold? It's been a long time. Free, you got to tell him. Tell him, tell him, tell him. All right. You always were smart, Harold. Oh, my crossbow. No! Caught me with a goddamn arrow in my leg. Shit. I'm here to get you out, Mr. President. Get him! Get him! Get out! Don't fucking move, my patch. Shit. They've got him. There's the Duke! Ah, oh, shit. Yes. I've heard of you, Snake. I heard you were dead. Episode 4. The year now, 1997. New York Maximum Security Penitentiary, Manhattan Island. The Duke has Snake. Away. Okay, but keep him covered or Juke will have both our asses. Yeah, no shit. Don't move, Snake, unless you want another arrow in you. <sighs> Great. <sighs> uh, my neck. Fucking 
charges. No move, Snake. Uh, where's my life clock? Shit, it's gone. What was that? I was groaning. The air on my leg's gone, but this ain't exactly a sterile bandage. Uh, or environment. Uh, it tingles. Uh, might give me first aid. Uh, yeah, this duke's just gonna kill me. Don't fucking move, man. Right. Come on, Maggie. The Duke's in there. I can hear him shooting Snake's gun. Who's he with? President! Shit! Yeah. Come on. What's my name? Look that diagram, Brain. Oh, it's in my place, Duke. Dude, that, that Pliskin said something about a time limit on. Man. What time limit? On him. That's a lot of crap. What did I teach you? Duke and York, you're hey, hey, number one. I can't hear you. Duke of New York! Number one. Get me that diagram. Duke, don't kill Piskin. We need him. Get moving, Brain. Okay. We're going. Come on, Maggie. Brain. Come on, Maggie. Motherfucker. What's my name? <laughs> <laughs> The man briefcase shot open. See what the man's got. <laughs> What's this? Papers? Bullshit? President! <laughs> What's my name? Control one. I have people out below in the park. Can you see them? Over. Copy that, Eagle Two. We're getting that readout. We'll see in the infrared externals. Investigate. Over. Copy that, Base Control One. Yeah, it's a crowd of prisoners in Central Park. They're waving at us, signaling us in the food drop area. They're waving us down. Copy that, Eagle Two. Check it out. We'll be careful. Over. Copy that, Beast Control One! Locked and loaded! Out!
the hell do they want? Still waiting, sir. Eagle 2, what's your sit rep? Over. Leland drop so now, base control 1! What? Wait, one, base control! Yeah, shit. Okay. Base control 1, Eagle 2. It's a briefcase with a chain, base control 1. Looks like it's been sawed off something. Over. Shit. The president did. Screw that for now, Remy. The tape. What? Can it, VP? Ask him if there's a tape in it. Yes, sir. Eagle 2, is there a tape in the briefcase? Over. Cabin at base control 1. Wait, 1. Is there a tape? What? Shit. No, but there's a note. No. How? Eagle 2, return to the nest. Over. Copy that! Out! Had to walk back here across town. I still have Snake's gun he gave me. Now what, Rain? I still can't figure out whether that son of a bitch Pliskin was telling the truth or not. God, I hate that guy! This map! He got in somehow. Yeah, yeah, but how? Gotta land the glider and take off. Can't do it in Central Park. There's too many trees. Port Authority's too low to the ground. Unless it was some someplace high up. World Trade Center, that's it! There we go to World Trade Center. And it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for me to take off than it was for him to land. Here's the note from the President's briefcase, Hal. Thanks. Amnesty for all prisoners in New York City in exchange for President. 69th Street Bridge. Tomorrow, 12 noon. No bullshit or he's dead. Shit. Where's the tape? Like I said before, not here. There was one other item, Hal. A pair of goggles with nails driven into the lenses. They're Pliskins. He took them with him. But look at the straps. Never been adjusted. Still have the plastic tie on the side. He never did use them. But with his eye and that goddamn patch, only half of them would have been necessary in his case anyway. So much for your man, How, Mr. Vice President. Rank or no rank, I'm gonna Bob, kick- get back. Oh, cool down. Warm up the choppers. We're moving in. What's Pliskin's life clock read, Remy? 156, 38, 37, 36. Shit. Come on, get up. Better days. Shut up and fucking move, Snake. Uh, yeah. Uh, this way. They set him to the best man. And when we roll down the 69th Street Bridge tomorrow on our way to freedom, we're gonna have the best man in the new grave. From the neck up. On the hood of my car. Let's do it. Here, snake. What's this for? Him! <laughs>
Hello, Brain. Where'd you get the hat? Got it from Cabby. Yeah? Traded him. What? What are you so nervous about? I'm here to see the president. Who says? The Duke. No, he doesn't. Well, I'll have to tell him you said that. Wait a minute. Why? He's got something hidden in his clothes and the Duke wants it. What? I'll show you. You tell me. Cyanide capsules. The Duke don't want a dead president. <laughs> Is that... Mr. President? Shh. What? Mr. President. I gotta check your clothes for... Cyanide. Yeah. He might try to take it tomorrow. That's bullshit. You're not supposed to be in here, Brain. Did you dress him like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the wig and lipstick were my idea. Nice. <laughs> Idea, weirdo. A knife? Oh. Oh. Brain? A knife? Here, Mr. President. Let me untie you. We have to get you out of here. Get this wig off! Goddamn insulin! Damn right up, get out of here! This way. Hurry! Hey, was that Brain? President? I wonder where weirdo is. Shit! Spike round one, asshole. Fuck you. Round two, snake. New weapons. You're gonna fall this time, bitch. Ugly's gonna fuck you up real good. <laughs> Give me the fucking bat and trash can lid. Asshole. Here! Nice. Nails in the end. Oh, the bats this round. And trash can lids for shields. What the fuck is on your wrist? A tracer? <laughs> fuck you, snake! Hey, asshole, give me that. Come here, bitch! <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Tracer asshole. Hope you read this goddamn tracer out. You bastard. Base control one. This is Eagle two. Hawk is aboard awaiting clearance to take off. Over. Copy that, Eagle two. Wait one. Copy that. Out. Lieutenant, sir. Yeah? Chopper's on standby and awaiting clearance. What's that? Pliskin's tracer. It's been activated. One hour, 35 minutes, 27 seconds. Shit! Get Hulk on the line! Yes, sir. Eagle 2, get Commander Hawk on the line. Now! Listen! Listen! The president's gone! 
brain took him! Shit! The Trade Center. That fucker. Brain dies. Wiskin's tracer. Thank Christ. Hold on. Get on the radio. Keep them down. Nobody move. Yes, sir! He's approaching the World Trade Center. I knew that son of a bitch was alive. He's inside. <sighs> Made it to uh, the Trade Center. Damn. Oh, my leg. Wait. There's a cab. Shit. Those fuckers. Fifty flights of stairs. Till I get to the elevator. Then another 50 on the elevator ride. Up. Then I kick. Oh, their asses. The Eagle and Child Pub in Oxford. It's 1933, and while life is normally quite dull around here, there are three blokes lately who... Valkyries! We saw Valkyries! I jolly well hope that by the end of term not a mythological creature is ever seen again. I would that they had never existed. Um, I hate to point this out, Worsley, but usually by definition, if it is mythological, it never existed. <laughs> now you're confusing me. I thought that was my calling in life. Normally, I wouldn't believe a word they told me. But, seeing as last week Ares, God of War, was in the pub, 
causing 30 quid of damage, I might add, the fiend. I'm beginning to expect the unexpected round here. Oi! I thought I ordered a shepherd's pie. <sighs> Coming! Broken Sea Audio Productions, Maudlin. Join the mayhem at brokensea.com.